Hi, I'm Brian Barnett, Mayor of the City of Rochester Hills, and as always, thanks for watching. I want to talk to you today a little bit about a very unique opportunity that I had the chance to experience earlier this month. I was asked to participate as part of a U.S. delegation of state and locally elected officials traveling here from the United States to the nation of China. In China, we visited three cities uh, with the purpose of expanding relationships, talking uh, uh, about how our nation and the nation of China, as they continue to grow in this global economy, can work together better in the future. Now, our delegation was made up of uh, all sorts of folks, very diverse group. We had a state senator from Florida. We had the speaker pro tem of the House in Wisconsin, the mayor of the Salt Lake County out in Utah, and lots of other folks, seven of us in total, representing all different kinds of political backgrounds, demographics, and regions of our country. And we gathered together in Beijing as our first stop to meet with many members of the Chinese government. Uh, we met uh, with members of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Commerce, Ministry of Agriculture. One of the neatest meetings we had was a chance to sit down with the U.S. Ambassador to China. Very tough ticket to get. Former United States Senator from Montana, Max Baucus, and his wife joined us for lunch one day as we talked a little bit about the, the very unique and challenging, sometimes challenging, relationship between the United States and China. While in China, we also visited several museums. We flew to another city, sort of a rural community, uh, called Kuming, where we met uh, and got to talk with high school students. <laughs> the classroom of our new friends here, uh, on a delegation learning a little bit more about the relationship between the United States and China. Um, in a geography class, is that right? Yes. yes. You guys having fun? Yeah. <laughs> you know where Michigan is? Right? You can put your hand up. This is where Michigan is. Anybody know Michigan? We've got some work to do here. But we're, having, we're having a great time. Uh, we're really learning a lot, and we're getting a lot of great value out of our trip and, and really uh, creating some great relationships with our friends here in China. So it was very obvious that, uh, that China is a growing community, a growing country. Obviously, it's uh, one of the most uh, uh, populated countries in the world with 1.4 billion people. Um, but even this small rural village, as they call it, had 6 million people. Kind of funny compared to United States standards. But we spent some time talking with students there, and they had dreams just like our students here in the Rochester Community School District. They wanted to be doctors. They wanted to be artists. They wanted to be musicians. Uh, they wanted to make a difference, is what a lot of them said in our chance to sit down. One of the more uh, unique and fun moments was every day they have exercise. And they go out uh, 3,000 strong onto the basketball courts, and music plays, and they dance a sort of a rhythmic routine. And, and I tried. I tried to join them. Coming to you today from a really cool location in Kuming, China, the second leg of a three-stop journey for a U.S. delegation of which I've asked to be a part of. I was asked to be a part of this group uh, uh, made up of uh, U.S. representatives, uh, some U.S. senators, the state senators and state reps, I should say, as well as some other mayors here to learn a little bit more about the nation and to talk a little bit about economic development and, of course, some cultural exchange. And today we're on the field uh, of Kuming High School. We got to meet some classmates a little bit earlier, and now uh, we're getting a chance to hang out with some of the students. Uh, education is really important here in China, and just last week, some students from the Rochester Community School District were here in China studying. And we look to have more of that exchange as we move forward. There are many things that, uh, that are similar between our nation uh, and the nation of China. Obviously, we're filled with people that want to make a difference, people that want uh, to grow and, and, and do things in the world. Uh, our middle classes are, are growing. We have some stark differences, too. Obviously, the government uh, there in China, they, they value, uh, in a communistic form, they value the communal right, where we as Americans hold very dearly the importance of the individual right. We talked about that at length. We had a chance to sit down with uh, the governor of the Yunnan province uh, to spend some time chatting about some of the differences in governance. How do people there express their desires for local governance and how is it different from what we have here? In all, the trip was a tremendous success. We ended up in Shanghai and, and if you didn't know, if you've never been to Shanghai, it's a city of 25 million that uh, looks like New York on steroids. Uh, it is a tremendously booming community with all sorts of industry and infrastructure and a lot of opportunity for a mayor uh, to, to see how a community grows. Now, we will not be able to apply everything we learned there, but certainly when you have relationships, when you talk about economic development, uh, Michigan's third largest trade partner is China. It represents over $3 billion of trade value back and forth each and every year. And Rochester Hills uh, has a portion of that, and many Chinese companies and Chinese officials that live in and around Southeast Michigan. Trade delegations like this are important to expand dialogue, to expand the discussion. 
And a neat and important component of this is it doesn't cost the taxpayers anything. And I say that again because to some people that's really important. No tax dollars were spent for me to travel to China. It was paid for by a, a non-government organization, uh, the United States and China working together to send Chinese uh, officials here and to send American officials there. I have uh, included some pictures of my trip. Uh, one of the more exciting and interesting things were some of the foods that we tasted along the way. But what I'll leave most importantly with is a, a better understanding of the Chinese people and what the nation is attempting to do moving forward. It did not look to me like what I thought it would look like. It did not look like North Korea or the former Soviet Union. I saw a nation that's trying to grow and find its place in the world. They're making some mistakes, yes, and the United States and China will certainly always have, at times, a challenging relationship. Um, but when you see the opportunity for economic growth and you see uh, a, a, a group of people, 1.4 billion, looking for American technology, looking for American ideas, you certainly can't turn your back on that, and our nation hasn't either. I hope you enjoy some of the pictures, and if you have any interest uh, to talk further about it, give me a call at the office, uh, as I'd love to chat a little bit more about my experience overseas.